and welcome. Hi. It's a special edition and exciting. Ah, we're going to talk about energy healing for animals and how you can become a real energy healer for animals and make animals happier. And I'm absolutely delighted to be here today with Zoe Hopton, who is going to be the new tutor for the new energy healing for animals course. Way hey, welcome, Zoe. Thank you. Yeah, I'm super excited. Um, yeah, feels like all the stars have aligned for this to happen for me. Feels like a really good move, right fit, combines all the things I love. Um, yeah. Um, well. The first time we met sort of thing was uh, because you are customer services manager for the Guild of Energists. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, so tell us a little bit about your journey with animals. Um, animals have been there as long as I can remember. Um, when I did Star Matrix, there were so many memories, so many star moments that involved wildlife, nature and animals and a deep connection to animals. Um, when I was really young, I was lucky to be in contact with horses and it was just, it just felt perfect for me. It felt normal. I always had animals at home. Um, you know, I used to spend my weekends going around finding animals that had died and burying them. Um, wow. Yeah, I just, I always, it's just part of my very fiber of who I am to kind of be with animals, to, you know, be with their energy, be in those bubbles with them. Um, it's incredibly like special to me. It's something that I really hold dear. And I've, I, I tried to make a career working with animals, but that didn't happen. Um, so I decided they would be my passion and my hobby and they would be something I loved and I did outside of work. But now I get the opportunity to bring it all back together again. <laughs> oh, it's, that is so fantastic. Um, what, what job did you try to do as a young person with animals? Uh, I tried to be a zookeeper. Um, Ah, okay. But uh, the people weren't very nice. Um, and I wasn't working with animals. I was working with lots of people. Oh, <laughs> and yeah. It didn't, yeah. I, I, you know, I enjoyed it to a point. But, yeah, the, the energy and the connection wasn't there. I wanted to make a difference. I wanted to make animals happier. Um, my specialist, when I did my university course, was enrichment and making lives better for animals. And I wasn't getting the opportunity to do that. So it wasn't a good fit for me. Um, no. So I went and did something completely different. Um, to keep that um, love for animals, I, I have this sense that even as a young person, you could feel in this zookeeper environment, in this sort of science-driven science environment, that it, this was eroding the, the actual deep passion and love of animals that you were feeling. Yeah. And mm -hmm. that it was kind of counterproductive to go down that path. Yeah. And, uh, you know, science needs to be based on facts and statistical analysis and this, that and the other. And you can't say anything unless you've proved it. But like people feel it. They can see it. You know, when a dog's happy, you can see it. You don't need a scientist to, <laughs> <laughs> to come and study your dog for you to know it's happy. And that, yeah, don't, you know, get, don't get me started because I started my life with animal behavior, too. Hmm. And um, this is where I made that big breakthrough discovery that energy is actually real. It's like a substance that is being exchanged between living beings, you know. Hmm. And yeah, and I actually, man, I went on to try and create a science of love, a place where it is not unscientific to talk about the energy system of an animal. And what happens when there's two, like a horse and a rider, and the flow of energy between them becomes disrupted. And they start to disagree and struggle and fight and not like each other very much anymore and stop cooperating with each other. Mm. And how to reestablish this flow of energy to make it smoother. And then what happens is that this, this love, it is love, this flow, this thing, mm. is that that is healing to both parties and all of a sudden they become healthier mm. and they become able to communicate better. They stop hating each other and start loving each other. And when that happens, then these, these connections, these bubbles that you were referring to arise, yeah. a bubble between the person and the animal, and they are together more than the sum of their parts. 
Mm -hmm. That is such an extraordinary, beautiful state of being. And I believe that every animal owner, whose companion animal owner, is seeking that. Mm. I, I, I think when you do healing with animals, it's kind of energy healing in its purest form. It is, I think, absolutely. I think animals are communicating in this way all the time. We're just not listening. We're yes. just, we haven't turned it on. And I think turning on this sixth sense and engaging in this communication they're like oh you're listening to me I yeah. feel it now i can feel you now also also and and that's really important um animals have energy injuries in their living energy bodies the same as people do mm. the same as a, a soldier comes home from war with ptsd animals have ptsd too if mm. they've been mistreated or they've been in terrible situations or a companion died or they've been rehomed you know, and, and you can't heal energy body injuries with pills and potions. That no. just doesn't work. And this, you know, oh man, it's it's it is a absolutely real part of health, happiness, behavioral performance for any animal to have a well flowing energy system. Mm -hmm. that's what a modern energy healer for animals does they find blockages in the animal's energy system and they will put love towards these blockages so that energy starts to flow again and that doesn't cure cancer or anything like that it does provide a baseline for physical healing to begin Mm -hmm. So we want to make it really clear when we do energy healing for animals, we are not talking about some bare thing where people go and, oh, yeah, my, my horse has got a broken leg and the animal healer does woo woo and all of a sudden the leg's not broken anymore. This is not what we do. No. We work with the spirit of the animal, the energy system of the animal, which may never have been addressed in all the problems that, you know, all the veterinary technicians and osteopaths and, you know, it's never been addressed. And yeah. if you don't, it, many problems remain unsolvable. Mm -hmm. So energy healing for animals is absolutely, oh, man, it's important. It's important. Hugely, yeah. And it's, it's a beautiful thing for a person to do. It is, yeah. It's, it's not um, easy. Oh, would you tell us the story of the little cows, please? Oh, yeah. So um, <laughs> I was at a yard. My uh, daughter was riding a pony and she was off getting him from the field. And I was standing next to a barn full of calves. Um, very cute looking. So I was like, oh, hello, calves. And I put my hand in to stroke them. And they all went, oh, human trying to touch us. Obviously, they're quite young. They haven't really been around humans for very long. So quite scared. Naturally, a prey animal doesn't want to be you know, having this predator staring at them. Um, so I thought, actually, I'm going to switch here. So I instantly closed my eyes, assumed the heart position. I did some heart breathing and I stayed there. Not long at all, minute maybe. And when I opened my eyes, they'd all come through the bars and I had a row of oh. faces all in front of me. They were oh, sniffing me, nice. you know, and they'd, they'd come into my space. They wanted to be with me rather than being afraid and backing off they become inquisitive and wanted to come forward it was a complete switch and it was so quick as well it's just oh, that, that's, that switching <clears throat> from you know normal person to energy person um yeah and the i i absolutely just just love that and something that you said earlier is that energy healing for animals and being an animal energy healer is the purest form of energy healing and the best education for anybody who ever wants to become an energy healer of anything mm. because people are so stressed convoluted they've had their heads stuffed full of weirdness of the ages about energy and healing and when you do energy healing with people hmm, all sorts of things can happen when you do it with an animal when you are standing there and you have a horse that's like the back's hanging down and the legs are like that and the head's down and you're just standing there and sending something to that particular animal and all of a sudden it just raises its head and the back starts to lift up 
there you can see directly, know directly that you have made a difference. Mm -hmm. Something has happened. Yeah. And so even if you are, never want to be a professional energy healer for animals, all you other healers out there, heed my words. Do your energy thing with animals. There you get the direct feedback if what you're doing is just an illusion or whether it has a real effect. And I think that is so, so, so super important in yeah. the, for, a, for a healer, you know, especially a human being with all the mm. weird thoughts to have that direct feedback. So, yeah, yeah. it is good. such a good training ground. You always say, like, you know it's real when you can feel it. Yeah. You can see it with your own eyes. And, again, it's that purest form of feedback. Yes. And the, the little cows showing with their behavior, not just one, but yeah. a whole group of them yeah. responding to you by not being afraid anymore mm -hmm. and instead becoming curious. Just because you shifted your energy, that powerful effect that had on the behavior of these little beings that have mm. never been to a Reiki class, that is what delights me, that what that's because I know energy is real and I know it really, really has an effect. Mm -hmm. So that's what most people just don't understand how simple and real and direct energy is. Yeah. It's just, just wonderful. Yeah. But the, the great thing about the uh, energy healing for animals course is that you have different ways of doing this. You'll learn different techniques, you know, what might not work in that situation. You've got a toolkit of things that you can do. You can, allow yourself to you know let your energy mind guide you to what might help you in that situation and you'll learn the different techniques and how to use it um and you, yeah. you never you, you know you never stop evolving it's a, a constant learning mm. and the more you do it and the more kind of magical moments you happen it it becomes almost addictive <laughs> well this is the thing you know there's so many different things with modern energy one of the old uh, things was if you're a healer you have to tear yourself apart you have to eat the pain and suffering of the yeah. other all laying the on the floor at the end of it <laughs> yeah bitter and twisted and exhausted but real energy healing energy healing with love is completely different as an experience because mm. as you're connecting with the being and you are sending this love you yourself are having these powerful powerful spiritual experiences mm -hmm. which evolve you and it's it's remarkable it's wonderful yeah oh, I, I, I honestly wish that that tons of people out there are going to activate their real love that they have in their hearts for animals mm -hmm. and use that to make the lives of some real animals out there yeah who, who may be physically wonderfully cared for you know, all the vet stuff done and all the stuff and, you know, and the latest nutritional supplements and all that stuff. And the animal still isn't quite happy mm. to, to address that part of the, the spirit of yeah. the animal, yeah. which might just need to be loved and touched just once. Yeah. And that makes me really yeah. emotional because I'm thinking of people there too. I mean, we've all been waiting for someone. To come and just touch our spirit in a loving way. And it's so rare in this day and age. Yeah. You know, it's so, so rare. So yeah. imagine what an animal feels like where that's just never happened. Yeah. And I think, you know, animals are in our care and we do a lot to them. You know, we we are quite, you know, we, we take over them a lot. And I think sometimes they don't want that. They just want to be with you and be in that space you, know, you don't yeah. have to always be doing things with them just be in their environment with them um you know again particularly with horses you know yeah. you're not a dog will come up and run and lick you oh my god you're home a horse doesn't do that they just look up at you and go oh you're in my space and that that to them is kind of hello you know yeah. they, they don't have these massive dramatic um reactions to humans they talk on a completely different plane and also they they um for them to allow you to be in their space as prey animals that is already a huge welcome with open yeah. arms isn't it mm -hmm. yeah um, i'm i'm 
often thinking of people the reason people get so addicted to horses is that horses do have this powerful energy field around them mm. and for a human being with their frazzled crazy energy systems to step inside of this huge field in and of itself gives this sense of ha oh, mm. of of calmness and of reconnection with your own nature and they, I, I think this is why horses particularly make such fantastic yeah um, you know, when I had my daughter um, I was back down the yard looking after the horses within two weeks and it they didn't know I'd had a baby they didn't know I was a different human being they still saw me as me and the energy and the communication was still the same and I recall a moment where I was leading two big horses in one either side of me. You know, I'm, I'm short, I'm 4'11". These horses are 16 hands each and I'm walking them in the middle. And just being in the middle and just walking through the fields together, it was so powerful. And I was kind of like, it was it was reconnecting me with myself. And this is what, this is who I am. And, and you sharing your energy system, mm. which was completely frazzled out after the birth. Yeah, yeah. And, and and put you back together literally. yeah yeah i'm still me I story. yeah i haven't changed yeah may i show you the, share this story because i think that's a really important learning story therefore yeah to to really understand and get a sense of that how frazzled human energy systems actually really are yeah and you get you know stand next to a horse and all of a sudden you get to remember what it's like to feel all right feel good in your own skin to be yeah you know yeah. a natural being for yeah yeah and to just be aware of that and allow that energy again you know be in the moment switch that sixth sense on and feel the energy because you know if we're busy rushing around all the time you don't you don't get to experience these moments no um you've uh, photographed some moments for us yesterday yeah, so um, I'm very lucky. My horse has moved to a new place and he's part of a big herd now in a big field on the South Downs. So now I've got the opportunity to do energy healing with a herd of horses. Oh. Um, and I went out in the fields. I've been in the field for about an hour, picking up poo, doing some jobs, just, you know, being there. Um, they're quite used to people being in the field. Um, and then I took the time to um, record um, some energy healing I did um, with one of my favorite units in the course which is the gift oh okay um, yeah so we've got a few videos we've got uh, the exchanging of the gift in both ways um, and then a little change in energy and then the last two videos are something that magical that happened that was completely unpredictable um, and yeah was was that oh my god this is amazing and you feel it and I, you know i'm still on a cloud nine from it at the end so yeah oh. really yeah it. go on let's, let's, let's see what happened yeah so we played the first video hi everyone um so one of my favorite units in the animal energy healer course is the gift um this is one of the geldings in the herd uh, that lives with my pony so i thought we'd um do that with him today he's quite an anxious pony about a lot of things. He's got quite a nasty scar down his side or something traumatic has happened to him. So let's see what happens. Feeling I want to give him like a winner's cup. Feeling up some champion energy. He wants to be a champion. Have won, he wants to have succeeded, he wants to be praised and pleased. I'm going to give him that gift, channel that energy to storm. So I'm going to see if there's a gift that wants to come back to me from Storm now. It's going to flick me around. 
Okay, so that's the first part, and then I switched the camera to the, so you could just see him whilst I saw if he had a gift to give to me in return. Okay. Him now to see if there's a gift coming from him to me. I feel like he wants to give me an axe, a really big axe head. I'm feeling a really sharp impact. It's large. It's really hitting him hard. Oh, interesting. So I'm just going to take that in and see if I can soften it and turn it into something nice. Okay, so now the axe is sparkling, it's shiny. It's turning that whack of bad energy into something good. But not too strong, just fizzing, gently sparkling. So that's really, um, really interesting. You said that the horse has a, a, a scar down the side? Yeah, so it's on the other side of him. Um, it's on his stomach um, and it is about a foot long. Wow. Um, I don't know too much about what happened. I think in his in his previous home, he something frightened him in, in a riding school and he ran and he cut himself when he was fleeing. Um, okay. But yeah, it's a big scar. Um, and I just, I had this overwhelming sense that there was, you know, like an axe head, just a whack, a really hard whack. And that's what I was getting from him. And I felt it as this axe head. I'm, I'm having sort of tingles at the idea that he's giving back like the bad memory or saying, yeah, take, I really that, that, away from, take that away from yeah. me. Yeah, this kind of like, you know, obviously when that injury happened, it would have been very severe and a very hard impact. And that's really what I was feeling. And I... You know, I sensed it as as an axe literally being put into, you know, that kind of energy. All right, so it's kind of giving giving the trauma back to the universe, as it were. Yeah, you've allowed him to to to, and he's happy to let that go and make let it go away. He he didn't want to carry that. Yeah, it's really interesting. I like it. Yeah. So what you're seeing is the rest of this video now is that obviously I'm softening that and I'll talk through that. But also yep. look out for his behaviour because he's moving away from me. He doesn't actually want me that close. Yeah. Um, so after this video, I kind of switch. So we'll talk about that when we get to there as well. But just watch how he's sort of almost being pushed away by me. Like an injection. Not an injection, more kind of like a like a hug of fizzy energy now. Really enjoying that. I think you can see one of the horses in the background over there seems to be enjoying this energy healing today. Let's see if we can get a little bit more energy flowing between the two of us. Taking lots of deep breaths. That sparkly energy flows through me, and I'm going to give it back to him now. A lot softer. see he doesn't want me too close so I'm not pushing this I want him to just feel it's a really positive experience okay feels good it was really nice yeah so what I was feeling there was a bit of resistance as well he didn't really want to connect with me. And I think, again, because he is quite a nervous animal, I think with me being front on because I'm filming as well, I think he was a bit uncomfortable with that energy coming at him square from me. Yeah. 
And we must also bear in mind that doing energy healing <clears throat> while you're holding a phone in the, in your hand and trying to get the horse into the picture and yeah. at the same yeah. time is quite a challenge. challenge. Yeah. So uh, well well done for that. That's yeah. tasking, isn't it? Yeah. So what I decided to do was to put my phone away for a bit and just connect with him and ah. get into his bubble. Um, you know, again, you, if you want to catch a horse, you don't go at it front on. You have to come at it from the side. This very front on way that humans are to horses, they don't really like it, especially if they're nervous. So you have to calm your energy down and connect with them in the right way. So that's what I did. Um, and then um, this happened. So I'll show you what happened after that. Oh. I would say he's happy for you to be there. Yeah, it's a complete shift. I just I just needed to connect with him and let him feel that energy. So I'm channeling that champion energy now back to him. I keep seeing our plus 10 men's with the trophy in his hand. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah, I'm just really feeling that energy between the two of us. Yeah, I see what you mean by saying that people should take more time doing this sort of thing rather than just in preparation for riding or tacking up or teaching the horse something else or giving it an injection or putting fly spray on it or any of these other things to actually yeah. just yeah. spend that time to get that energy flow right. Yeah. I don't know if you saw that then when I put my hand on him, I really made a conscious effort to channel that champion energy into him. Do yep. you see what he did with his eye? He actually closed his eye and the horses tell you a lot with their eyes. Um, I think he was really feeling it. Yeah, champion. He can be a champion. It's beautiful, isn't he it? Yeah, and he can be a champion. Sense of like relief Obviously. there, I Thanks felt. Ooh. Hey, bye. It's like there's a little shift in his energy there. Yeah, his ears are coming forward. Yeah. It's kind of, oh, I feel good. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> oh. Oh. Yeah, I mean, this horse, some people like, um, you know, if you were to just walk up in the field to him, he'd run away. He doesn't let people really get near him in the field unless he knows you or trusts you. Yeah, it's quite a special moment for me. Oh, he's beautiful, though. Yeah. So, yeah, it was quite a special moment. And then um, whilst I finished that and I was just sort of, you know, processing it all, just checking on my phone to make sure the video had recorded, um, I felt a little nose in the back of my neck. <laughs> uh, so I'll show you this next video here. This is uh, another one of the horses. Uh, as you can see, he hasn't got quite as much white on his face, so he's a different horse. This is George. Um, and, yeah, whilst I was just allowing that energy just to clear before I left the field, he, um, he nuzzled me and he wanted to come over and say hi. So obviously feeling that energy as well. I just thought I'd show you that as well. He's just come over to be with me. That's lovely. Um, yeah, so I, again, I decided to be in this moment. And I just started channeling and feeling just pure love with this horse. Um, and, and then this happened. Oh, look at that. Yeah, just, it was overwhelming, just the feeling between the two of us, just, 
it's pure love and I was just in the moment just feeling that love and letting that love energy just you know swell up between us um, and we were there for quite a long time doing that beautiful yeah there's the question who is the healer yeah actually brought me to tears at the end yes i could sense that yeah it was huge and obviously it was it was a complete side effect to what i'd been doing with storm right you know he just he came up and was like oh yes please I, you know i, I would have been of that energy um Aww. yeah and he just he almost melted him in, in my arms in a way just like yeah it was I, I can't really put it into words. No. Oh, that was, that's really beautiful. Yeah, it was amazing. And like you were saying before, you just I, I'm still feeling this amazing energy, like cloud nine. You know, that was, what, two days ago now? Imagine you did that for as a professional, mm. as your job. Yeah. God, that would be good for your energy system, wouldn't it? yeah sure. and it like it has a, it has an effect with everything else like i went back to the yard and there's um a, a dog that doesn't normally like people but she loves me she comes running up to me and sniffs my leg and is quite happy to be with me but again i don't push it with her. i don't go oh you like me i just allow that you know almost like my my happy aura energy just to kind of surround and you know, anyone that wants to come in can come in ah uh. You have given me the opening to say something about Steve Young. <laughs> when I'm not uh, writing books and making illustrations and all the other strange things that I do, I relax by watching horse trainer videos. And one particular one that I follow is Steve Young Horsemanship. And this gentleman is just really down to earth english very practical um, and he loves american style horse riding and so he does horsemanship and he went to see an arabian stallion in his last trip to america and there was some sort of an energy thing going on there the owner of the arabian stallion was uh, a very energy doing lady and uh, he came away from that. There was, a, there was an event that happened where the horse did something very unusual. And he was, op and Steve Young obviously looked at that and went, oh, there's something going on here. But then he went on to say, well, I don't really want to know anything about that. It's just, yeah, okay, but it's not for me. My wife likes it, but it's not for me. Yeah. And I immediately thought of Alex's story uh, from the EMO conference where the lady came up to him and she said, uh, well, I do everything. I do Reiki and crystals and angels and tarot and everything. But my husband, he's a scientist. He only likes EMO energy. <laughs> and that, that I love that story and it, I really, really enjoyed it. Um, see, mod, if you are new to this channel, if you're new to what we're, we're doing, modern energy is a very logical, practical way of dealing with the reality of energy, the reality of love, the reality of the fact that human beings have living energy bodies and that horses have living energy bodies and that horses can feel that energy from the person that's walking into their field. Of course they can. Yeah. And one of the things with Steve Young is, is he's, there's so much nonsense about dominance, right? Mm. Dominance doesn't mean being aggressive and brutal at all. It means having a high energy system, a high energy flow in your energy system. Yeah. Having high energy. In yeah. a battle between two creatures, it's not the guy that wins that is possibly the smartest or the strongest. It's the one who has the highest energy because they're switched on the most and they can make the most of their bodies, if you will. Yeah, yeah. And so... Well, I think um, I, I think Steve Young would be completely on board with EMO because it's simple and straightforward. If somebody explained this to him, he has not only a very high energy system, 
that an animal will no take notice of. Yeah. Say, oh, look at him. Mm. He's he's glowing. He's a light. All the other people are here are just these weird flickering shadows. Mm. But he's walking in and he is a light. So that's the first thing to get the attention. But, and I really appreciate this about Steve Young, he has a deep and profound love for horses. Yeah. And compassion. Yeah. I absolutely love what he says about, he says, you know, problem horse, it's being naughty, it's being dominant, it's being all these stuff. And he always says that horse is only trying to make it through one more day. That's yeah. all it's trying to do. Yeah. And even with the worst sort of worst to problem problem animals he has this absolutely unshakable love and compassion mm. and i really appreciate that and so yeah. um, thank you to steve young for his wonderful horse training videos i always always enjoy them they help me relax and keep my energy system moving forward yeah uh, uh, fantastic good luck to his career i think that he'll find many many more fans he already has many fans mm. But, you know, there is no compromise between logic and energy. Energy work is really logical. Yeah. It's, simple. it's incredibly profound. Mm. And it's not woo-woo. No. We don't promise weird false miracles. But we do promise that you as the energy healer will have wonderful experiences of your own yeah as you begin to you know become that glowing light that walks into the yard or into the stable yeah. or into the house and has something to give that nobody has thought to give and oftentimes nobody has ever thought to ask for yeah it's special it's a very special course and it will do special things for you and the animals that you come across yeah one more thing that i would like to say because i know what i know i have created this course to be absolutely love based it's always and only based on love mm -hmm. it's not about acupuncture points on a pig it's not about ley lines it's not about any of these complicated reiki weirdnesses it's nothing like that it's simply you standing in front of the animal, loving that animal and expressing that love in a way that works under the circumstances. This is what the course is all about. Yeah. It's my thank you to the realm of animals who have taught me about energy, the reality of energy, mm. and have given me the, the greatest gift so for me, animals are angels. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They saved me on more than one occasion. There we go. So this course was written by a person as a thank you for what they've given me. And our tutor is a person who's loved animals all their lives. So if you'd like to come along and join in this extraordinary journey, <clears throat> it's an amazing journey. Mm -hmm. Because animals can teach us all how to love so much more, so much more freely and be able to give the gift that only we would have to give. I'll give you the last word, Zoe. Yeah, um, come join me on the course. I'd love it. I'd love to work with you, work through it with you. Um, you know, and if there's a team of us, we can all get together. Um, you know, modern technology, I think we're all very confident now in using online platforms to communicate. Yep. I'm quite happy to form groups. You know, if you don't like writing, send me videos. You know, yep. it's this is this is your opportunity to 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 do this in the way that works for you and to make it, you know, let it change your life. Hmm. Wonderful. I am super thrilled. Thank you so much, Zoe, for having taken over the tutorship of Energy Healing for Animals. A link is in the description below. 
And yeah, I'm hoping many, many more people will find the logic of love in modern energy. Yeah. I'd love it for if Steve Young did. On that happy note, yeah. with lots of love from me. And lots of love from me. Bye. Bye. <laughs>